So we at uh, Gigabyte here at CB 2012. So, what are you launching here? Well, we're not launching a great deal. These are these are our seven series boards, which will be launched shortly. I can't exactly can't tell you exactly when. Uh, we have from the G1 Sniper 3. This is the UD5H, UD3H, DPH, and they're all Z77. We're all using the Z77 chipset, which is which will be the new chipset from Intel, supporting the next generation or third generation Intel Core CPUs. So these are the new 22 nanometer fastest Intel CPUs in all this. Not all this, just these guys. These there. Uh, also, also. They're they're coming soon. They're coming soon. How soon? Yeah. Three months. Soon. Weeks. Okay. Months. Uh, I think you could you can count in weeks more than months probably. And uh, let's go check uh, the. Let me show you here. Yeah. Also, here we have the X. These, these are X79 boards. Uh, these four boards here. We have the G1 Assassin 2. Which, as you can see, both of these boards have the green coloring. They are part of our G1 Killer series. They're designed for gamers. So on on board here, you have uh, you have a creative, dedicated audio chip to give you the same sound quality as a dedicated sound card. This one uses the creative sound card 3D. This one uses the creative uh, 20 20K2. So why is there a gun here, and why is there a? Well, we, we try to glam our boards up in a way to attract gamers, and of course, gamers use guns when they play their 3D games. So, yeah, I mean, it, some people like it, some people are not so keen on it, but overall, we think it's it differentiates us from our competitors. Also of interest, you'll notice this this is a, a new board we haven't launched yet. It's the X79 S UD5. S stands for SAS. I'm not sure if you know about SAS Charbax. Serial attached SCSI. Remember SCSI? Well, this is SCSI over a serial ATA connection. And here you have four of them in a row. These blue connectors here will also called SAS. SAS hard drives use the SCSI uh, technology, which is, of course, it's more secure. You've got a much longer mean time between failures rates, so your drive won't die uh, in the next few years. So your, your data, even if your drive's been used 24-7, it's guaranteed to last for longer. This memory here is also supporting ECC memory. So you're going to have a very, very stable workstation-like PC here. We're actually using the server chip. So this is similar to what, what you saw just a moment ago on our server board. So there, there's like eight slots for RAM. Eight slots, so you can support a lot of very, very high performance, very stable RAM on this board. This is like for a PC workstation. These are, this is extreme gaming, this is extreme workstation. This board is similar also, has the eight DIMMs, but it doesn't have the SAS connectors. And this is more entry level. Because nice. the, the X79 Extreme i7 uh, Sandy Bridge E processors are quite expensive, but there's, a, there's quite a, a niche market for this kind of extreme platform. And uh, basically, you can have like 64 gigabytes of RAM, some crazy amounts. You can have 64 gigabytes of RAM on this baby, but on the ECC RAM, I'm not sure you'll get quite the same capacity, but hey. That's insane. 32 is not bad. <laughs> and you are showing some uh, graphic, uh, what's it called? Uh, graphics card. Okay, so here we have the 7970. So this is this is the current top dog in the world for a single single GPU card. So uh, it's using Star Express 3, AMD uh, graphics, and Nvidia. Yeah, so That's the boards I just showed you—they're all PCI Express 3 compliant. Yeah, so PCI, PCI Gen 3. Uh, so yes, and of course you have the Nvidia 5 580 here. These are these are overclocked. We have uh, our own exclusive cooling technology to keep that cool. All right. So they're, they're overclocked up beyond the standard default yeah. setting. Do you have some uh, some ultra books? Right. You can check those out. So these are launching, right? These ultra books. These they'll be launched in May. Am I, am I right? Be around May. May time. The, the, the launch. When did they launch? Uh, we'll launch it uh, five to six seconds. No, no. When are we launching the product? When are we going to? Uh, in May. In May. In May. In May. So, uh, what is special about these? Uh, this building that quite a green graphic car and two D six fourteen M. It is uh, very special in the ultra book because we consider the user needs uh, performance. It's not not only a thing and light. Yeah. The battery life is not only the consumer life and user. 
So there's two USB 3 here. Yep. And two USB 2 here. Yeah. And this is building the uh, Intel Thunderbolt 2 and HDMI port and SD card. Alright. And also it has a keyboard, big yeah. line. So what's the difference here and here? Uh, this one is SB, this is standard voltage, and this one's a ULV. ULV? Yeah, it's the uh, IP bridge. So this one is a lower lower power consumption? Yeah. But the same weight, the same uh, battery is going to last longer, or what other difference? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's much longer. Longer. And so you're also showing uh, desktops right here? Yeah, these are our desktops. We, we put together a bunch of desktops. Uh, let me, let me. Here we've got the UD5 uh, Z77X UD5 H board, which I mentioned earlier. And as you can see, this this SKU we're going to bundle with a Wi-Fi card. The Wi-Fi card is dual band and grade Wi-Fi. You can see the two antennas here. It also supports Bluetooth 4.0. Sure. Nice. And that's an exclusive. Right, right now we're the only vendor that bundles a compatible uh, Bluetooth 4.0 PCIe card with a motherboard. And as you can see inside, there is the PCIe card. Right here. Alright. Yeah. There's even two. Or oh, what's no. The PCIe, but those two graphics. Oh, those two here, these are two. Yep, that's that's these are current top dogs. This is the two 7970 OC 3GD nice. cards, which we've got an SLI configuration. Nice. And are you showing the servers also? Yeah yeah. Let's go check those out. So, what are these servers? This is your new workstation board, right? Yeah. And uh, let's support uh, new ROM processors. And uh, new ROM processor already enabled the side of the machine. And uh, typically, to say that this uh, just uh, is a standard work, UP workstation board. The form for the arrangement, the design. Yeah. So, so uh, these are servers, right? Yep. All of this, or just that one? These. This is ser also servers. That's a traditional red mount server to, to be installed inside a server camera. So how do you, how does a gigabyte work on this? What do you do for this? For example, for this one, it's a uh, one just one U space. Yeah. That we put in can be called this. 24 memory. what, sorry? 24 memory teams, we see. So That's the measurement so far. You can have 8 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte. Yeah. It's like... But this is, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6, 6, 6, 6. 24? 24 teams. So what's the maximum per team? So say you've got 8. 8? Per team, so... <laughs> it's a lot. It's, it's a lot of memory, right? All right. Of course, you need that for a server, right? I think yeah. maybe... Besides, we are also in there about 10 gig networking, we see. That's 10, All right. 10 gigabit. So this is not for consumers? No, we need... No. Oh, sorry. And uh, so this is the next generation Xeon. It's going to be the fastest uh, uh, fastest server yeah. in that size. Yeah. Not possible to do faster with Intel, right? Mm -hmm. Not possible. And what is this? That's uh, for normal SMB business group. That's a very cost competitive you know, uh, server barrel bomb. We can use this for your, in, your environment as a firewall or a mail or even storage management server to do in share or something. Yeah, All right. Because in server field, the most important is consider about the power consumption for your fuel management cost and besides also the, the component qualities. All right. We need to, all the server products need to pass very long validation test and long time test for to ensure the product stay, stable. Yeah. Yeah. That's so it. Let's mm -hmm. check also just the, the tablets. You, you're still working on, uh, so there's some Intel tablets. Intel X86 and there's uh, this one uh, and uh, what's it called? Hi. Hi. How are so, you? So you you're working on uh, what? What are these tablets? Uh, uh, yeah, on, on the tablets, the notebooks, and the netbooks. 
So where are the network? There's a network as well? Well, well here, we have, here we've got the three-in-one booktop. Uh, it can yeah. be a netbook, it can be a desktop, and it can also can be a tablet. It's called a T1132M. Is it on the market? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah? Yes. When you, it's 180 degrees, rotatable screen, uh, capacitive touch screen, and here you will see I have a notebook, notebook feature, and if you rotate, it can be a tablet, and if you dock it onto our unique docking station, it can be a desktop. Nice. So yeah. that's everything. Yeah, it's three. Uh, it's three one total solution. And there's a USB three. USB three point zero. Yes. One or many or uh, here. Uh, I think it's at the. Uh, here. Yeah. This is. There's one yeah. USB three yes, and with, one USB two. Yeah. With HDMI. Yeah. It, it it has a fairly strong connectivity. Also with the docking station, it has an extended um ODD. 90 degrees swivel, and here we've got all the IO ports as you need. What is this, sorry? Uh, the the DVD ROM. DVD ROM. Yeah. All right. Cool. How much does it cost? Uh, for the uh, including the docking station, it will cost you uh, around less than a thousand US dollars. All right. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. And uh, here, there's also I'm seeing there's a, a tablet here. I guess Gigabyte's still working there. Are you coming with new tablets in the future? Uh, How soon? Maybe. I think, uh, a secret. <laughs> for now. <laughs> yeah. So this is a. This is selling on the market right now? Basically, so far we ship this device to some system integrators to yeah. sell in using their local brand net. Right. Yeah, yeah. Can, can we take it out of the... Yeah, sure. So this is a Tegra 2? Yeah. It's down here. It's thin. It has long battery life. Yeah. And this is uh, totally in the market. All right. We've already tested it while uh, playing the MTEC 4. Uh, yeah. It can consist of for up to seven hours. Seven hours? Yeah. Nice. So that's pretty long. Cool. Con Thanks. Continue playing the MTEC 4. Thanks. So what is the next things for Gigabyte? What are you going to do in the future, like very soon? You mean big in, project in, tep, in tep play? Yeah, uh, Gigabyte is gonna uh, in China? continue to make all different kinds of products. Uh, yeah, sure, that's definitely. But uh, basically, I, I, I cannot pre yeah. uh, a secret. present. No, 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 no. I mean, uh, in my product line, of course, yeah. I can give you some comments about our product okay. development strategy in the future, yeah. in server portion, in PC system portion, but I cannot represent Gigabyte to okay. say all of But Gigabyte has big R&D, no? It has, yeah, yeah, and sure. working on many things. Yeah. Many secret, secret projects also, I guess. You cannot say. Many okay. new models. New, many new models. Yeah, many new models, models. and uh, sometimes uh, because of the cooperation with customers, something we cannot say yet, but for sure. Thanks.